This is Energy Plus EP Launch Part 2, looking at some of the options available in EP Launch under the View menu. Choose Options. The first group is Command Window. The first choice is to pause the DOS box during the simulation. Normally the DOS box will disappear when the run is complete, but this option keeps it present in case you need to check any messages. Uh, sometimes this can be useful for troubleshooting. Next one is to minimize the single simulation command window or minimize the group simulation command window. When these are checked, the DOS box does not come to the forefront when started. For a single simulation, perhaps that's not very useful, but if you launch a group of simulations, it's nice to keep them in the background so they don't keep jumping in front of other work you may be doing. The other useful option here is number of simultaneous processes. EP Launch can queue up multiple runs in parallel. Uh, for ex uh, this system here is a four core processor. I leave it set to three simultaneous Energy Plus processes. That leaves the fourth core available to do other work while the simulations are running. Uh, and the system is still responsive then, doesn't start to stall down if the simulations are grabbing lots of CPU power. So with that set to three, I'm going to select the example file called One Zone Parameter Aspect. This is actually a parameter file, a uh, topic of a later discussion, which generates six different Energy Plus simulations. So you can see that uh, three simulations have started here, and as each one completes, then uh, another one will be launched. So now uh, runs four and five are running. Actually, I guess this just ge generates five runs. But as soon as any given run completes, it'll, it'll launch the next one in the queue. And then the summary box comes up listing the results of all, all of the simulations. Next group of options are the interface window, uh, extra wide window, and alternative layout. Uh, this is set to extra wide window. It's helpful to be able to see long paths in the uh, drop down list for input and weather file. On the miscellaneous tab, there's several different uh, options here that uh, may be useful. Tab delimited, by default, tab delimited files are opened in a text editor. Checking this would open it in a spreadsheet. Allow more than 250 columns on spreadsheet outputs for variables and meters. This allows if your spreadsheet program supports more than 256 columns, such as the more recent versions of Excel, it's useful to check this. If it's unchecked, the post-processor will stop with the first 250 columns worth of output data. Check version prior to simulation is useful to check and make sure that the IDF file version matches the version of Energy Plus that you're currently running. Convert ESO MTR to IP units will convert the meter and variable files into IP units. This is a global post-processing option managed by EP Launch. When this is checked, input files get converted to IP units for the spreadsheets. If it's unchecked, they come out in SI. Create statistics file. This creates a small uh, spreadsheet file that has statistics for every column in the main variables output. Create batch file to run Energy Plus. Depending on the operating system, your system may work better with that checked or unchecked. Some systems will not allow you to create a batch file. Other systems will work better. So if you first install Energy Plus or go to a new machine and things don't seem to be running, this is something to try changing its state and run again. Run parametric preprocessor. That's what we actually did in the last run. It ran the parametric preprocessor in order to generate multiple input files and manage those runs from a single input file. Generally, you want to leave that checked. Check for updates to Energy Plus. EP Launch will check the Energy Plus website, I believe it's once a week, to look for updates and notify you when those are available. Otherwise, you can uh, manually force the check for updates. The Next few uh, options allow you to select which specific program will be used for different types of files. Text editor, drawing viewer, which is for DXF output, VRML output, spreadsheet, 
Diagramming is for the SVG format uh, diagram of the HVAC system, HTML browser, ESO viewer, and PDF file viewer. EP Launch will attempt to find all of these automatically based on the file types, but sometimes you may want to choose an alternate program or the system may be unable to find that automatic association. File association allows you to associate IDF, IMF, and EPG files with EP Launch so that if you double click an IDF file in the Windows File Explorer, it will open EP Launch directly. Reset is a way to reset all the options back to uh, normal defaults. That concludes the uh, tour of EP Launch options.